Hey y'all, we back at it again with another video. I'm gonna show y'all how to make shrimp fried rice. Let's keep watching. Grown ups, in between, churning babies. Okay, yeah, we back. So, in this video, it's more than just shrimp fried rice. It's gonna be shrimp fried rice and beef and broccoli. Um, this turned out to be one of my favorite dishes I've made so far. Your girl got her own place. Your girl be cooking, cooking. Do you hear me? Man, I be cooking all type of meals. But, yeah, that's a, a, a story for another time. But right here, I just have, um, I think it was sirloin steak. Y'all, I, I had um, cooked this, like, probably a month ago. And I'm just now doing a voiceover for it. Don't fight me. But I think it's sirloin steak. I found a recipe um on youtube another youtuber had uploaded it i'll put her stuff her information in a link well in the description down below so y'all can go check her out but um i'm not gonna put like no in like the ingredients and all that down below because that ain't me i'm not about to do all that i don't like to edit videos already but anyway so you just cut up the um sirloin steak because i could get off track but you just cut them up um, you want to cut them up into good enough pieces, not those long pieces. So that's why you see me cut, like, some of those halfway. I split it up, if that makes sense. So then I crack an egg, because you're going to get this meat and you're going to marinate it, right? So you they say you um supposed to marinate it 30 minutes to an hour, but if you do it overnight, that's best. Did I do it overnight? I can't remember, but... Take an egg, put it in a bowl, scramble it up. I'm whipping it, whipping it. I seen something in there, so I had got it out. I guess that's what I did. I don't know. Put it over there, over there, uh, that steak. Then you get some ginger. And it's like minced ginger. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know how I have minced garlic in a in a jar? Well, it's minced ginger, pretty much. And you're going to get that, and you're going to pull some of that up in there. I had made this dish for my housewarming party. Um, Wait, no, I'm lying. I made the shrimp fried rice for my housewarming party. But this right here, I had made for um, my family. Just, you know, my kids and myself. And them kids ate it too. You know when them kids eat that food like that, they're not used to. They be all for it. If if the kids ate it, it's good. What is you talking about? What did you mean? What did you meaning? Okay, then I put some garlic. Okay, so uh, this is my first meal I made in my house. So that's why I'm opening up all of the ingredients like all of the stuff because i had just went out to the store and bought everything so everything brand spanking new and don't play with me with my iridescent i got iridescent everything silverware spoons forks knives um i got iridescent everything pots pans okay so then i took some um green onions i grow my own green onions like i buy my first stalk out the store and then once i cut that i just put it in water and let it start to grow and then you put it in the dirt and then it continues to grow and then you can harvest off of that for like probably two times you can harvest off of that but uh okay because i'm clumsy drop the top right up in there put some pepper up on there I'm going to be dropping a lot of stuff in this video. I just want y'all to know because I'm clumsy. I'm going to say that again. Put some salt. What's this? Um, This is some kind of vinegar. I think it's rice. It's vinegar. I don't want to lie to y'all. Then my finger, oh, there you go. Um, dang, I missed it. I don't know what kind of vinegar that is. But put that vinegar in there. I'm, I told y'all, I'm going to put the link in the description down below so y'all could go get the ingredients and everything. And she may explain it even better than me. It might not even be a 30-minute video like this one is, but you know I'm long and I don't like to edit. 
then you take some cornstarch and put that on there too because that's going to give it that thickness. Mix it up. I guess I want to add more cornstarch. I don't know. Mix it up again. And y'all, this was smelling so good. I'm getting hungry right now. I'm finna go fix me something to eat. What I'm doing. Okay, so you cover it up, put it in the fridge. Like I said, overnight is best. So now we on to the shrimp. Because remember, we making shrimp fried rice and beef and broccoli. So we got the shrimp. They are already peeled and veined. Yeah, I paid the extra buck for that because who got time for that? Who? Who got time for that? Um, salt, pepper. I really don't like that pepper like that. That pepper grinder because a lot don't come out like that salt. Some minced garlic. Because who minced in garlic? Who about to do that? I'm not doing it. Get the minced garlic in the jar. It's perfectly fine. It's the same. Whatever. Some more green onions, because I love that, and you supposed to put it in there. You don't supposed to, but I mean, I love green onion anyway. Some more ginger. And that's me watching the video. Mix it up. I'm whipping it, whipping it, whipping it, whipping it. Okay, now what? Oh, we top it off. Put that in the refrigerator too. That's me saying I'll be back. So now we have to cut the onions. I love onions, onions and garlic. I love it, I love it, love it, love it. I don't even know if this was the next day. Was this the next day? I, I mean, I have my auntie robe on. It might be. Chop up your onions. I love red onions and yellow onions. I love them. I didn't like onions at first, but then I got pregnant, and that's when I started loving onions. Willa Greg, that's my youngest child. He just made five on Monday. Happy birthday, LaGreg. But yeah, I like onions on everything now. Chopping up the red onions. Y'all don't come for me on how I chop up these onions. Or how I chop up anything at that. Because, so y'all, I'm new to this. Why did I slow this down? Why did I slow this down? Oh, my eyes was watering. Ugh, look at that face. I promise y'all I got better with chopping up stuff. I don't chop like this no more. I'm going to have to show y'all. Girl, it don't matter. All that's going to go down the same, same place. 
Just put it in there. Okay, broccoli time. Because I sure was thinking to myself, what am I cleaning this chopping board off of? So you um, cut up the broccoli into small pieces. Not too small, but um, small enough. And see, we got the real deal broccoli this time. Baby, get that real broccoli. You want to make a fresh meal? Cut them heads off that broccoli, off them trees. Cut them trees off that thing. Okay, we set a stove now. So we're making a rice, white rice in a pot, water, salt, boom. Now we're making the sauce for the beef. So you put soy sauce. I don't know what I'm fussing about. What I'm complaining about. Oh, I dropped something. Ugh. That figures. Pour that in a bowl. Come back. Beef stock. You need that. Oh, child, I was bloated. I'm not with child. Knock on some wood, cause don't don't y'all play with me. I'm bloated. Beef stock. Brown sugar, brown sugar, baby. Okay, yeah, let me stop. So now you take cold water and cornstarch. You mix those two up together first. Get all the clumps and the lumps out of it. That's me um getting all that sugar from out the bottom of it. And now you add the cornstarch and water to it. So you're going to blanch that broccoli. What that means is once the water get hot, I have an electric stove now. I'm not with the gas because I'm no longer at my parents' house. So it's not going to show that the water is boiling, but it was boiling because it had bubbles in it. So you go ahead and let that sit in there for a few minutes. While that's sitting, I pam the mess out that pan. You could use olive oil too. Why didn't I use olive oil? I'd rather use olive oil than pam. I don't know why I didn't use olive oil. Did I have olive oil? Probably didn't. Okay. Check on that rice. Turn it off because it's ready. Turn it off too because it's ready. I poured that water out and I poured in cold water. I did that two times. Like I poured the cold water on there after I poured that hot water out, poured the cold water in the pot. And then poured that out and then poured some more cold water in the pot so it could really stop cooking and then I let it sit in that water. So now I'm just putting the beef in the um, pan. And letting that cook a little sizzle sizzle. Stirring it up.
Harold. Okay, I came back. Now we stirring it up some more. Now, for some reason, my beef isn't dark brown like on the girl video. I don't know why. If y'all could tell me, uh, if y'all know why, if y'all have an idea as to why my beef isn't as brown as hers, like it's a different color, tell me down below. In the comments, because I don't know. I was slick thinking I did something wrong, and I was like, maybe this not going to taste right. But I was like, you know what? I made it too far in the game. Let me go ahead on and do this. Add them onions, because yum, yum, yum. Eat them up. Um, now I think this was sesame seed oil. Yup, your girl added that sesame seed oil. Stir it up. I'm sorry. Okay, so now you're taking taking the meat out the pot. Wow, the pain. You're gonna leave whatever's left in there in there and you're gonna add the sauce that we made. Uh, add salt and pepper, of course. And we're going to wait for that. We're going to wait uh, for that to thicken. We want it to get thick. Thick, 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 thick. Add the salt and pepper. Still don't look like hers on that video. But anyway, we're just going to wait. Mix it up. It's getting a little thick. A little thicker. That's what that cornstarch do. Hmm. <laughs> Now we're going to add that meat back up in there. And coat it all up. Man, I wish I had some more of this. I might have to go to Kroger. Mm 
Now you add your broccoli. And see that broccoli still look green. Nice and green. It's not wimped over. It's not overcooked. It's nice and green. And see, we want it like that because we want that broccoli to have a little crunch to it. And then, you know, when you put it back in this pan, it's going to cook a little bit more. So, add some more onions. Because who? Who? Who you thought? Add them onions. I should have added some more. But it was good, though. And y'all, the reason why this video is 30 minutes long is because I cooked two meals. Oh, I did add more onions. Hmm. But yeah, it's because I cooked two meals. So, that's why. Because I really don't like having these long, drawn-out videos like that. Move that to the back. Get to the back. All right, now we're going to do the shrimp. These scrimps. I don't know what I'm doing. Um. Oh. So with the shrimps, okay, so y'all know with the beef, you use beef broth. With the shrimp, you use chicken broth. What a panic, girl. What is you doing? Chicken broth and soy sauce. Mix them together. I don't know why I grabbed this little bitty pan like I'm about to cook eggs. I don't know what I was thinking. Don't know. But I pammed it up. I don't know what y'all know, but um, them shrimps look good already. They're not even cooked. It's just the green onion. It's the green onion for me. I think this is where I realized that pan was too small. Because what, what was I thinking? I don't know why I grabbed that small pan. There it is. I transferred it over. Okay, so this part, I would add eggs. I forgot to do that. I forgot to add them eggs. But I later on did it. Like after everything was already cooked. I add the eggs to it. But it still was good with or without the eggs. As long as you cook it right. You season it right. You good. You good. I was on uh, Messenger with my family. Telling them I was cooking, I was gonna call them back. More green onion, cause you know your girl love them onions. Some more onions, of course. Because why not? I should have just poured the whole thing in there. Cause why not? At this point, just pour it all in there. Stir it up, mix it up. Let that rice get brown. I 
Okay, you pour your soy sauce and your chicken broth up in there now at this point. Oh man, I'm hungry. Even her shrimp fried rice look different. That's that uh, sesame seed oil again. So now we about to plate it up. Because it's ready to go. It's ready to go. Oh, I wish this was in real life. So, that's the end of this video, y'all. Y'all, um, comment down below. Tell me what y'all think about it. Tell me what y'all want to see next. I do have a story time that I want to tell y'all because y'all know I'm in business by myself now. <laughs> Young entrepreneur over here. But, um, it's a story time regarding my business and what I do. Um, I don't know. I have another mukbang coming out for y'all. Tell me if y'all want to see some more of these food videos, what y'all want to see. Um, just tell me down below if you want to see vlogs or if y'all want to hear... Yeah, uh, apartment or uh, see a apartment tour just let me know what y'all want and you know your girl got you my ring doorbell notification people outside so um yeah like comment subscribe share my video sometimes you don't know what to cook and you just go on youtube or google like me and start searching stuff this could be good for you know Party favors, not favors, but when you have a, you know, a night in, you got some people you want to feed, put that beef and broccoli over their rice, and they're going to be like, oh, this is it. I had cooked some crab and crawfish etouffee. Man, when I tell y'all, y'all know I had cooked that last time, but man, this time I cooked it, it don't have nothing on that nothing on that i had put too much on kaylin plate because she wasn't gonna eat all that but yes lord i'll catch y'all in the next video see you later